Music lovers, VCs, good to see you again. Um, clearly it's night time, the lighting's not great. I've tried to flip this lamp around a few few ways. It's, it's, it's going to be poor, but uh, lighting, but anyway, it's probably okay because you know all these, uh, these albums anyway. So, hope you're all well. Um, it's been a little while, but not that I'm not feeling it, just haven't got around to it. So, here we go. All right, so from the title, I think my 14 10 out of 10 Beatles songs. That's what I reckon they got. Um, basically, um, I actually ranked all the Beatles albums. I, you know, this was probably six months ago. Wrote them all down, went through every song, gave it a, a 10 out of a number out of 10. Not not all of them at yeah, 10 out of 10. Um, gave them a number out of 10. Uh, and then divided by the tracks and gave me a score, I guess, or gave them a score. Um, I hope this video is the right way around. Last one was the wrong way around, but it could be something to do with it because we're down here, you know, in that circle thing. Um, okay. Um, so, yeah, ranked it. Like, so I did it, but then I was, at that time, I wasn't really in the zone for videos probably not in the zone anyway still, but um, just wasn't making many videos, so just put on the back burner, but you know, I've always sort of wanted to come back to this, I'm not going to go through the whole ranking thing, although I will list the um, my ranking, um, maybe at the end of the video, so um, if you want to go to that, just go to a few of those little multiple skips, um, and but basically out of that, I thought I might just do my 10 out of 10 songs of the Beatles. So, because there was a thread a while ago, um, I think 10 favorite Beatles songs. So anyway, I worked out, well, yeah, it worked out that um, I have, I've got 14, 10 out of 10. So my top 14, here we go. So some albums have got none, some albums have got multiple. So I'll just show you. I mean, as I say, you all know the albums anyway. I'm just gonna go chronologically. The Australian ones for the UK ones. Mine are all a bit rough, um, but they're all sort of early Australian presses, maybe first or second, um, third or fourth, something like that, but they're early, um, and they're pretty much, I'll just show you, they're pretty much all monos, and they're that sort of label. I've got one stereo, which I'll show. Um, with the Beatles of me, um, I do like the Beatles a lot. Um, I was sort of thinking about it, where would they rank in my top, no. Top bands, I think probably I'm gonna give them them probably just outside the top ten. So I'm gonna say give them eleventh spot. Yep, so eleventh spot for Beatles for me. Um, I pretty much grew up didn't have any albums, any of the studio albums growing up. Pretty much all I just had was the red and the blue album, um, and that's all I knew pretty much. So and loved all that stuff. So but I guess we used to go sort of in. Teenage years, we had some friends that were a couple of years older than us and that really were into the Beatles, and we used to go to a few Beatles shows, not the the, the original Fab Fab Four cover shows, um, and yeah, so that was always good, and you know, always been up there for me. As they just probably my eleventh favorite band for me, still very good. I like them a lot. So um, yep, here we go. So just show you each album. Uh, there's no 10 out of 10 on this one. Um, there's a 9 in between number 9. Well, no, I'm just saying 14 tracks, so there's no 10 out of 10 on that one for me. Um, the second album, With the Beatles. This is a sort of, I think only Australian sort of um, uh, cover. It's, uh, I think it's called the Floating, the Floating Head, the Floating Heads cover or something like that. So, yeah. Anyway, actually probably works well with you know, light as well. Do they float even more? Oh yeah. That, ooh. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so any any ten out of tens in this one? Uh, let's have. Oh, there's a nine and a half. We're gonna tell you the nine and a half. Yes. Um, all my loving. Nine and a half. Alrighty. Third album. Hard days night. What have we got? Any? I don't know. Oh oh, that was. Oh yes, that's right. Sorry. Um, there's no 10 out of 10s here. There's a 9 on here, but I'm only going to tell you 9.5 and, and above. 
shouldn't even do a night house, but um, I might tell you. I'm gonna actually tell you my least favorite song. Actually, we went past that. That is, I can't remember what it was. This was done a long time ago. Um, with the Beatles. Okay, track three, side two. You really got got a hold me on me. You really got a hold on me. Okay, I can't even remember that song. I've given that a four out of ten. That's the lowest ranking, lowest rating out of any Beatles song. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll check it out again because. See how bad it was. Probably isn't bad. It's probably pretty good. Um, what did I say? Hard day night. Anything on there is only a nine. So no, nope, there's two nines on that one. Alrighty, Beatles for sale. <laughs> okay, clearly it's yellow, but with the lighting effects, not so. Um, a couple of eight and a halves. Help. We get to our first ten. And help track. What have we got? Track six, side two. So some of you beetle heads will be interesting if you know actually if you know that off what it is. So track six side two is yesterday. Verse number ten for me. Actually in the background, probably pretty quiet. Bit of Eddie. Rest in peace, Eddie. Um, did they have any, did they have any connections at all? The Beatles and Eddie? Maybe. Who knows? Someone will know out there. Okay. Next album. Rubber Soul. I actually got two of these, so, um, I've got a stereo and a mono. I'll show you what the stereo looks like. I think that's one of the originals. Stereo label there. Parlophones. Out of all these albums, I actually don't think I paid more than five dollars for any of these albums. So they're just albums I've just waited. I haven't particularly wanted. Like I mean, I've wanted, but I haven't particularly gone to actively seeking. Um, I think actually the only one I did actually buy, um, I think from a, a record show, which was actually twenty dollars, the most I paid. The rest were like less than five. Was probably the was the the one rated the lowest, which is everyone rates it the lowest, yellow submarine. So it's interesting. I just, you know, if I find them, I find them. Works out, works out. And I'm, you know, stoked I haven't have got them all because there's a lot of songs I didn't know from just listening to the blue and red. And now I don't listen to the blue and red at all. <laughs> Rather listen to the studio albums, which is about, which is similar to a lot of bands um, stuff. Anyway, so um, Rubber Soul. What have we got? We've got. Track two, side two. You know what? Girl. Oh my god. Track three. Ooh. Straight after it. I'm looking through you. So, them. two ten out of tens. Alrighty. I just hope this is slightly entertaining for you or slightly interesting. Um, Revolver was probably the last album full out. Album I've heard full, like I heard fully of theirs. Does that make sense? So the last one I probably got that I hadn't heard. Um, hopefully you get my drift. Uh, if you're not sure what I'm saying, just just say what the hell you're saying down there. Um, what have we got? Revolver, track two, side one. Eleanor Rigby. We've got that's it. That's the only ten out of ten on that one. A lot of people's favourite. Where's it going to be on mine? Sergeant. The Pips. What have we got? Side two. Now side one. Track two. A little help for my friends. It's always very nice. We've got s s track two. Side two. When I'm 64. What a song. Oh, I just love that song. Just... It's a bit quirky. I like it. Um, love it. And then we've got track six. So last track, which a lot of you probably know straight off the bat there. A Day in the Life. Alrighty. Uh, white album. Oh, I've got a little stamped A today. Is that because it's an Australian? Do like so the British ones say UK and 
the Uzbekistani say a U. Um, not pretty low rating, so ranking or pressing, pressing is probably the better word. So going to focus 19,892. And tracks, there's no tracks, tracks written out here, so I've had to open it up. And we've got first track, opens it up with Back in the USSR. Track three, Glass Onion, 10 out of 10. Side two, track three, which is, I'm going to have to, I don't know, it doesn't actually properly spell that out on the cover, so I, this is where they go back to their Apple thing, maybe there before. I've probably made lots of mistakes here, but lots of people in the know will let me know, please. Uh, what are we? We've got track, uh, side two, track three, Blackbird. I love it. Oh, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Track five, Rocky Raccoon. Absolutely brilliant. Awesome song. Now, I only actually discovered that song when I listened to this a few years, a couple of years ago. Uh, and track seven. What have we got there? Why don't we do it in the road? 10 out of 10. Four 10 out of 10s in that one. Is that going to give away some ratings? Maybe, maybe not. Yellow Submarine. No, no 10s. There's a 9. And Abbey Road. We have got... Yes. Uh, track 2. Something. Gorgeous. And let it be. We have got track three, side one, which is Across the Universe. So that is my 10 out of 10s, my 14 10 out of 10 Beatles songs. All right, I'll probably put my rankings after this. Let me know what you think. Have I lost it officially, unofficially, bootleggerby? All right, look after yourselves, be well, and keep spinning.